we go. I got, a, I got an odd one today. It looks like your regular old uh, 2008 Silverado, Vortec Max. All right. The customer calls me, gets a hold of me. Says, hey, uh, this thing's been tuned twice. Um, I've got a got an issue with it. It's it's a slug, like because it's worse than stock. So they put a 6.2 in it, and um, it's just a work truck. It's just a daily driver. It's dirty. No big deal, you know. I deal with these all the time. Um, he says, "Man, it's a, it's a slug." Okay, I'll I'll take a look at it for you. You know, maybe it's it, you know maybe it's something, you know, not with the tune. Maybe it's something physical. You know, it could be anything. So he pulls up today. I was like, before you leave, let me double check this tune. Let me just make sure it's something I can fix. You know. I've never seen a a tuner or heard of a tuner like purposely sabotaging something like this. Um, so what they did was uh, lowered the timing a lot. Um, made power enrichment come on at 8,000 RPM. So it'll never come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna drag you. I've had this for a while actually. I let a customer borrow it and I kind of forgot about it. So I'm gonna set this thing up and uh, we're gonna go for a draggy ride and see how slow this thing is, <laughs> um, like it sits. And then we're just gonna tune it and see how much faster we can get. So I'm not gonna do like a full quarter mile or anything. I'll probably do like a zero to 60 or something, you know, like nothing crazy. I'm. I'm gonna try to do it on the same road. You know, I'm in Mexico right now. Um, but yeah, let me um, let me set up my parameters real quick. Um, it had a couple of codes. It had like some EVAP codes and stuff, which it's not a big deal. Uh, I can, you know, get rid of all that stuff. I can fix all that, you know. Um, but yeah, let me um, let me let me get my parameters set up here, and then we're gonna go for a spin. So. Uh, it, it's got a shift timing um, uh, cell. Uh, it was showing it had, like it has some kind of shift timing issue. So I even looked at that and they doubled the shift timing, like added time to it <laughs> from factory. So this thing definitely should feel like a, like a six cylinder full size truck or worse. I guarantee you it feels worse. So I've got the draggy set up. Um, we're gonna go, I, I, I haven't flashed it yet, so, um, at least they turned a DOD off for them, so that's not a big deal, you know, I'm kinda proud of them for that. But they, they I mean, I've, I've never seen a tuner purposely do stuff like that, ever. Uh, so, he said he got this truck from somebody else, and he said that somebody else was probably hard to deal with, um, even if I have a customer that's hard to deal with, I don't think I would ever do that to somebody just cause I'm not that guy to do that. I'm, I, I'm good. I, that's just, I can't do that to a car. It's so stupid. Um, cause I mean, your name's on it at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know, it, no matter what that guy says about you or, you know, the, the signature is actually the vehicle itself. It's not the guy. That's just my opinion, I guess. But anyway, uh, let me get to my road here, and <laughs> I'm gonna log in. Let's see what that. Let's see if that code yet pop back up. Let me look here. Read DTCs. Yeah, shift timing solenoid low. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna see if we can fix this stuff. But yeah, let me go get a baseline <laughs> and then uh, go from there. All right, the road I'm on, it's kind of. It's got a little slight downhill thing, but I'm just gonna make them both on the same run here. So I think we just hit go here. And then I'm just, I'm really just gonna floor it. Alright, let me hold my laptop. Alright, so we got a nine second zero to sixty. Alright. I reset it, I'm up. I'm gonna enable power enrichment. 
<laughs> and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what the difference is. Looking at the uh, trans settings, it looks like they had the default uh, modifiers like cranked way up. Um, I'm not sure if what they were doing or whatever. I just set them back to stock. I don't usually mess with the modifiers too much. I'll do I'll do the the factory like or like the main pressure tables. You know, I don't I don't do modifiers too much. Um, there's too many variables in it. Uh, but I just flashed it. Uh, got rid of the, the cam position code and looks like probably for the AFM um, I am going to my road and we're gonna try this again all right here we go just stabbing it that's all I'm doing so we took an entire second off the uh, zero to sixty time. So yeah, it, not too not too shabby, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they definitely mess with this guy. Like that's that's terrible. Don't do that, guys. Come on, it's we can't do that. Not as tuners, man. We can't do that. I st I didn't even I didn't turn traction control off. I didn't I didn't do anything on any of those. So it still has you know torque management and stuff still enabled. But just a simple flash, it, it gained over a second in the 060 time. So, well, not over a second, about okay, eight tenths, okay, if you want to get technical with it. So, about a second. So, this isn't a controlled environment. <laughs> um, I'm going to go uh, finish logging this stuff. I figured you guys get a kick out of this. It's going to be just a short video. Um, it's just, it's just going to be a basic tune. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you're a tuner, don't do that to somebody. Come on, man. <laughs> I've, I've never in my my career have seen anything like that. So, uh, yeah, let me let me go let me go dial this thing in. We'll go drive it around and stuff. Um, like I said, this is going to be another just basic video. I just I wanted to show you guys how how sluggish something can be by just tuning uh, or doing something on purpose like that. That's God, that is terrible. I also, I added timing to it too. Like they had the timing really way down and stuff. So I had a quite a bit of timing to it and it liked it right there. So uh, let me go dial this thing in real quick. Uh, I may knock that timing back down a little bit. I thought I heard a little pre-ignition, but I'm gonna look on the log here. I don't, it may not have been nothing. It's, it, it hurt, it's, it hurt. It sounded like it caught it. Um, but I don't, I don't like them on the ragged edge either. So, um, but yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching the short video. Uh, please like and subscribe, share, do all that stuff. And uh, catch you guys on the next one.